Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Surefire GX3 Gaming SSD, otherwise known as the Gaming Bunker SSD. This is an external drive with RGB lighting and a really stylish finish, and this is an unboxing and installation video to talk to you about what's in the box and how you use this drive. Now, it is a plug and play drive that you can use with console and PC, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use it on PC plugging it into your machine and installing games directly on it that you can then boot from. The idea here obviously is that you have an external drive which still delivers pretty fast speeds up to 450 megabytes per second and allows you to install extra games from your Steam library, plug the drive in and boot straight from it and play those games. This obviously has the benefit of you don't have to worry about opening up your PC to install extra drives. It's a real plug and play affair and it's dead simple to use. Also, it has a very nice finish to it, and it comes with a simple instruction manual and some other bits that include a USB cable with a USB-C adapter. So you have the option of USB-A or USB-C, and it requires USB 2.0 or 3.0, preferably 3.2 Gen 1 connection to deliver the fastest possible speed. This is 104 grams, this little drive, so it's lightweight and obviously very portable. And here you can see a close-up of that USB-C adapter. So if you have a USB-C port on your PC or laptop, you can use that. Otherwise, it has a USB-A connection. It's a fairly straightforward setup. Now, this is a drive that obviously you can use to back things up. It's an external drive, so you could use it for other reasons. For example, backing up a Steam library, backing up your games to then install elsewhere, but you can also use it in a plug and play setup where you install your games directly on it, plug the drive in, and then just boot from them, which is obviously beneficial. One thing I really like about it is the sort of look and feel of it. Obviously it has uh, three strips of RGB lying at the top, but what you'll see is a really nice looking finish on it. It has a really cool finish that sort of catches the light in a hologram-esque effect and it's a quite a stylish looking drive. Obviously nicely designed. This is a verbatim drive as well, so it should be pretty solid and last quite well over time. It's lightweight, as I said, so although it looks the business, it is light in the hand and isn't going to weigh you down if you want to take it out with you. And so that's one other benefit potentially, but here you can see a close up shot where I was talking about that sort of detailed design on it it's got a very nice aesthetic to it. it looks pretty cool especially when you catch it in the light very unusual but obviously the main highlight of this drive is the ability to be able to plug it in and use it and in a minute i'm going to show you benchmarks on it so i did do some testing on it to make sure that it ran at the speeds they're claiming this isn't as fast as an nvme ssd so that is definitely the better way to go if you want to add more games to your PC and I have a number of videos on various NVMe drives if you have the ability to install one they're very straightforward and they're a lot faster but if you want something that's really simple and still faster than a platter hard drive at 450 megabytes per second it does a pretty good job of being nifty and delivering what you need to now the process for installing games on it is fairly straightforward as I said, this is just plug and play. It does have software already pre-installed on it and things that you can access on the drive, but you can just plug it in and then set it up fairly easily. So what I've done is I've plugged it into this gaming laptop that I'm currently testing and then gone into Steam and created a new Steam library, which then enables you to be able to install the games directly on it. And you can see it flashing with the RGB lighting to let you know that things are happening on there as well. So I'll just quickly show you the process for it. Just go into your library, find a game you've not got installed and click to install. Then you need to create a new Steam library on that drive. So just finding the drive letter, in my case it's J, it's going to vary depending on how many drives you've got in your system. But you can see create new Steam library here. And then I already have a folder, so I can select that, but you could create a new folder and then click next to go through the installation process. How long this takes obviously is going to vary depending on the speed of your internet. Mine's feeling pretty nifty and fast today, so it installed quite quickly. But the process is then complete once it's downloaded and installed. You obviously need to keep it connected while it's doing that, and then when you launch the game. So I've installed Rick and Morty Virtual Reality there, but I've also installed Totally Accurate Battlegrounds separately. 
and again that one's nice and swift and now you get to boot from the drive and play the game and so just a quick demonstration of that in action this is a very fun game to play by the way it's free to play and it's a very very silly battle royale style game with some crazy weapons and in a second you're going to see me tase somebody but there's all sorts of things including a balloon crossbow which you can shoot people with that then sends them off into the sky with balloons attached to them it's very silly and hilarious and a lot of fun i'd highly recommend checking it out but you can see that the game is running smoothly and effectively on this machine directly from that drive without any hassle so really simple and straightforward affair and no problems now in a second i'm going to show you the benchmarking test using crystal disc mark and it did report the speeds that you'd expect to get and what is claimed so crystal disc mark is a free tool that you can use to test drives and just set it up to run a few passes on there and then give me the results and as you'd expect get about 455 read and 432 writes so that's roughly about what they claim and so you're getting a pretty good speed and a pretty solid drive for a nice price hopefully you found this video useful let me know in the comments if you've got any questions thanks for watching This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.